Tantara mine in the Katanga. We have a matrix of calcite and perched on this would be a lawn of tiny diptase crystals or largish diptase crystals actually intersected again with a little bit, little bit of calcite. Now diptase doesn't take well to my camera. There's blue with this as well which would be some which you see around the side most likely Krasakale in this case from Tantara but could be Shatukat too. Uh, from this particular section, I'd say more likely Krasakala than, than Shatukite. This would be looking from the top down, so let me take you through so you can have a look. Look at the reflections of the crystals to give you an indication. Lovely color. Of course, Diapta is um, loosely translated from the Greek. I think it was imitation emerald, or some even call this copper emerald, uh, rather than Diapta. And it's, the color would be like a... Uh, slightly off to a green, uh, a, a dark, dark green emerald. So I think when our forefathers first found these guys, they thought, well, here's faceted emeralds lying around in the host matrix. Because these crystals are pretty large uh, uh, for diptase. All the way from most likely the Tantara mine in the Katanga. So if it's lying just flat like this, you'd have this effect. This is also not at all unappealing. So this wouldn't need a stand. And then, of course, you'd have this fruity section you're looking over here, and it's like climbing a little mountaintop, a green mountaintop going right across up there.